So one thing that we learned about at the Q conference this past weekend was Class Dojo, and it is something that I'm very excited about. It is behavior management um, software, essentially at your fingertips, completely free. I'm going to go through exactly what it is very quickly. So what is Class Dojo? It is behavior management tracking in your hands. It's quick and easy. It's absolutely 120% free, which teachers love. Um, as we all know, um, negative student behavior can be a huge barrier to learning and affects the teacher's ability to teach, uh, cuts into class time, things like that. So Class Dojo helps to improve behavior and ultimately um, helps to build stronger learning habits. Class Dojo is essentially effortless for teachers because you have it in the palm of your hand using a device. Um, we have don't have to track data because it does it automatically for us and it coincides with our DD because it focuses on positive behavior rather than negative behavior. One of the best features is that parents have a login so they can log in at any time and see how their student is doing. Also students have a login so they can track their progress on their own and that helps with student engagement. Best part about it is all you need is a computer. You need nothing else. We all have one of those in our classroom, so it is that simple for us. Some teachers elect to show the students progress during class, which would be great. Um, also, you have the option to use your smartphone or, um, or a tablet or a device like that and that makes it just super super easy you can literally be standing in the front of the class and um, have your iPad out award a student a point who's on task or you know if a student is not on task then you can take a point away that's simple so now I'm going to show you the interface and show you how quick and easy it is to learn so I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get started you I signed up for a free account and then I'm just going to log in and here's the interface. Now I've entered my classes for um, first through third but I have not yet done for my fifth period class so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add students and it is super easy using gradebook. So I'm going to go to my gradebook. I have to re-enter. Sorry guys. Re-enter my password. I elected to export it as a CSV, which is Excel. And the Excel comes up. I copy it. And all I'm going to do is paste it and watch how cool this is. Voila! Yay! See? And now my all of my students are in there. So um, it also allows you to customize behaviors. These are the things that you want to track. These are the positives um, that come with it. Now I'm going to import behaviors. I added um, some. Um, I added preparedness because that's something that I would like to track with my kids. And then I also added talking in appropriate times because teaching during writer's workshop. A lot of my students love to chit chat. Now one of the best things about this too is that um, you can download invitation codes to the parents and students. So this is how parents know what their login is and what kids know what their login is. This is all it is. It does the reports automatically for you. I can send a note home, have the parents sign it, know they got it, and it's that easy. How do I do points? Abby was doing well today. She was on task and so she gets a point. Um, Abby was then off task so I take a point away. Um, another great feature is that it has a timer so I can you know set it for five minutes start the timer and go ahead and count down. Let's say I need a student to come participate on the board. It randomizes, it selects a student, Adriana. Adriana comes to the board, she participates, I give her a participation point. It's that easy. Now whoopsie, I actually messed up. She wasn't supposed to have a point and so I can take it away. I can award multiple students points. They're all working in a group. I can give them an award. They're all doing great teamwork together. And I go oh, whoops, that was the wrong group. So there's also an attendance section where you can track attendance. So um, pretty neat. The other great thing is that it gives you reports. So 
Here is where you can get all the information. It tells you which students were awarded what. Of course, I haven't implemented this yet because I just learned about it two days ago. Um, it'll also tell me what parents, uh, if parents give me their emails, I can send them emails. Um, I can print the parent codes. I can see when students log in. I can see when parents log in. So, I mean, it's just really, really a great tool. So then what do you do? You have all these points. Well, what the students are then able to do is go shopping with the rewards that they get. And different teachers have different reward systems. It's really up to the teacher to decide what points mean what and what they can buy. Um, most of the teachers that we talked to at the conference give free things, um, no homework maybe, a ability to wear um, ability to wear slippers in class, um, bring a snack to class, something like that, but since I haven't implemented it into my class I have not yet figured out that, but I just searched online. Really the possibilities are absolutely endless for what rewards you want to give to your kids. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me talk about Class Dojo. Hopefully you are as excited about it as I am. I think it's going to be a great tool to utilize in the classroom and we will see how it goes. Please let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas for implementation and we can go from there. Thanks guys.